Yo, what's up guys? It's Sofax here, bringing you some Advanced Warfare Ranked Detroit Hardpoint gameplay. I get a lot of kills and a lot of deaths because that's how this game flows so far. With no respawn timer and a very short respawn timer in CTF, you die a lot in this game. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go over some of my first impressions of the game. Um, first and foremost, this gun is head and shoulders above the rest of the guns. Except for maybe the HBRA3 or something. Uh, a lot of the guns have weird like abilities to them. Uh, this gun fires faster the more you shoot it. And the HBR3, the first five shots, fire faster. Or is it maybe three shots? Um, I haven't really given it a test yet because... You have to get 20 hip fire kills to unlock stock, and that shit is hard. Um, but ranked 4v4 is just very, very, very good. Uh, I don't know how well the ranking is as far as like the matchmaking, but this game is not built for 6v6 with these maps. It's much more, uh, it's much less chaos with 4v4. So there's just some. Gameplay with Bronze Div Division with me and Ed, aka in Us We Trust. And um, you don't have everything unlocked, kill streaks are enabled, and um, it's very fun. And you also have people sniping. Um, but yeah, one thing, a few things stand out to me with this game. The, the HUD, when you're full red, is just a piece of shit. You cannot see the kill feed quantity. You can't see the kill feed. You can't see your ammo count. You can't see the mini map. I don't know why they let that slip. Um, they need to work on that. The spawns in this game are very erratic. Sometimes you'll spawn three feet away from the hard point or the momentum flag. Sometimes you spawn across the map. And I highly doubt it's because the anchor on the other team is doing an excellent job. <laughs> um, Another thing I've noticed is the reload bug is fucking annoying. Apparently, if you double tap X, you reload faster, but you lose all the bullets that were in the magazine. But that's just a bug, because I'll just tap it once and I'll still lose all the bullets. And it'll legit get you killed. Um, again, nice little four piece right there. And I've noticed a lot of the pros are scrimming with a respawn delay. I think it needs to be on. Because right there, I got a four piece, and there are still two people around the corner. And if you aren't watching the kill camps, you're just back in the game immediately. You're not penalized for dying. Um, I, I use Exo Overclock because a lot of the ex other Exo abilities, you have to manually turn them on. Like you have to press a button on your wrist or something. That shit ain't that shit ain't fly. Uh, with the Overclock, you don't have to do anything. Worked. And you just keep playing. Um, let's see, what are some other things I want to point out? I've gotten like two frag grenade kills. This motherfucker meleeed me so many times this game. The kill feed does not fade away. That shit lasts on the screen like for five years. And because of that change, I have zero intentions of making a montage. I've already gotten like six quad feeds. And it's all because the kill feed just doesn't go away. So, and because there's no theater mode, I just, I don't feel like doing it. Let's see, what else is it to point out? Um, for any of you people thinking about getting the game, the, the XL movements, like, might look herky-jerky in the gameplay, but when you're playing, it's actually extremely smooth. Um... Just like Titanfall, I don't think Titanfall is a very good spectator game. Like, I'd watch live streams and be like, you know, this game doesn't look very good. But when you're playing it, it's extremely fun. That's exactly how this game is. Um, I remember watching a lot of gameplay, people just boosting around. It just looked jerky, looked clunky, looked clunk. Woo! It looked clunky as the word clunky itself. But the game is very, it's actually very smooth, the movement. Um, and I'd say just the major thing holding it back is just random, like, connections that aren't very good. And 
there's a mix of really good maps. Maybe not really good maps. There's a mix of playable maps like this one. And then... Gotta keep yawning. And then there's maps like Terrace. Where I was joking with Ed. It's not like quad feed. I was joking with Ed that I think that map is taller than it is wider. Like, the verticality on these maps is fucking awful. Because it just creates more randomness with the XO movement. There is... Terrace is a piece of shit. Green Band might be worse. Um, so I don't think Solar is very good. I think this map is good. I think Horizon is good. Um, Riot, I don't think his Riot is very good. Let's see if I remember the names. I think Instinct is pretty good. The maps that are not vertical, like this one, actually play pretty well. Um, I'm kind of disappointed there's no Demolition or, or Headquarters. That's okay. Uh, momentum is really fun. Hardpoint, they need to tweak the spawns or the respawn delay. CTF is good. Uh, search is pretty cool. Even though there's no dead silence. The game is just, it's extremely fun. I think with a few tweaks, this game is easily better than Black Ops 2. The skill base, the skill gap is back. In Call of Duty, I don't actually, was it ever? Oh my fucking god! I've been awake since 3 a.m. and it's currently Thursday, 1:56 p.m. So apologize for all the yawning. I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back in order, but uh, I think this game will easily pass Black Ops 2. I don't know if they need to nerf the ball or buff everything else, but I'd like to see some changes to the gunplay. Um, game, it's just really, really fun. I haven't had this much fun on Call of Duty. Since uh, the end of Black Ops 2, just absolutely stat horning with the FAO. And um, the only time I get mad in this game is when I clearly fucking melee somebody and nothing happens. And then I get meleeed back. That shit pisses me off. Also shit like this. Where it's just like, no, that's not what happened. Um, they really did a good job with all of the kill streaks and the customization. But then they completely fucked themselves by making the kill streaks or the kills only 50 points. So actually getting the kill streaks, huh? Holy shit! Actually getting the kill streaks is like impossible. I have support on. I you know I've gotten like two UAVs and I have like 40 kills at this point. They, I'd really like to see them change that up. Only getting 50 points and then having base UAV 400. Are you serious? You know how hard it is to stay alive and play objective and get kill streaks in this game? I think I've been in the game, I think I've played like at least 50 games, maybe 60. One paladin has been called it. That kid was stat whoring. Oh my god. He was probably alive for like five consecutive minutes. Um, Woo! It's a rare two piece. You usually die right there. Um, and of course, die. Uh, I die so many times right here on this hill. This bottom spawn sucks dick. Um, let's see what I was going to say. The Warbird is actually pretty good. I was messing around with it against the bots. As long as you made, make it AI controlled, it's pretty good. The Sentry Turret, you can rip it off and turn it into War Machine, or you can make it AI controlled. There's a lot of unique customization that I like with the kill streaks, but you just never fucking get them. It's really annoying. And, I mean, look at this. I just got five man. There's been three quad feeds or more in this game. Like, this is... I don't think this is a, a red gun montage game. Unless you, like, are shredding as far as the clip goes. Like, straight up vaccine kill chain on hijack. But, I mean, I, I could see that happening, too. Not for me, though. Right. Where the fuck are they coming from? I'd love to play on wired internet. Let me guess another death real quick. My CQC aim... My fucking guy, I've been meleeed so many times. My CQC aim... I'm playing on 6. 3 is medium, 7 is high, I believe. Maybe 8. For some reason, I can't find, like... I apologize. I can't find, like, the perfect sensitivity. Like, I feel like it's really slow in CQC. And people with, like, stim on will just burst to the left and right, and I, I can't, or not stim, overclock, and I can't lock onto them. 
And then from far away, it's just, it's everywhere. I can't control it. Grip really helps with long shots, but... I don't know, I, I'm still searching for that sensitivity. But, um... This game is really fucking fun. Um... I would highly suggest buying it. Play... And just play ranked. Um... Get stock in a ball. And enjoy yourself in ranked. Deuces. We've captured the enemy flag!